My name is Isaac Asbury. I'm from the city of Compton, born and raised. I worked for the Department of Justice, the federal system, for 30 years. And I started a team intervention program in 2007. We deal with at-risk youth who are either on drugs, in gangs, I have a problem in school. Where we are located right now is in the city of Compton. It's a street called Pyro. It's known throughout the world where the gangs originated from. In this environment, to the young gang members, it's an honor and a privilege to murder someone with no significant reason why. They teach him at a very young age, it's okay to murder. Compton is known worldwide, okay? So I chose Compton to make a difference. This is a, an area that's been noted for gang activity over the past 25, 30 years. The park that we're sitting in, Tucker Park, it's a beautiful park, but it's always empty. No one comes to the park because they don't feel safe. So we decided this would be a good place to start our operation by introducing the way to happiness and start a lot of activity here designed to bring people back into the park. In Tucker Park, we put on programs called Sports Spectacular. Four or five, six hundred kids come right here and we're hula hooping and track racing and all this and you give them the way to happiness and they take it home with them. People were coming back to us asking us for more. Parents became interested and started asking us for more because they wanted to see what we were giving their children. One parent went back and read the book and said it was a good thing and she would read it to her kids every night. So they had a lot of fun. And that was our opening for us to introduce the technology into this community. Now, Isaac uses the, the workbook in his program with teenagers, where they're actually asked to fill out a workbook and talk about their own ideas and impressions of each of the 21 precepts. We talk about it with them so that we can make sure that they have a pretty good understanding of what it is that they're reading. That helps to solidify what it is we're trying to get across, which is basically the 21 precepts. In 2007, along with the Los Angeles Times, we started maintaining statistics on all the homicides occurring in Los Angeles County. How many people were killed in Compton, Inglewood, Los Angeles. And I would work with the Sheriff Department to bring the uh, number of homicides down. So I invented what we call the Wall of Shame. Every Sunday, we had this place called Rosecrans and Central. We have 15 signs, we have flags, we have every name of the 3,000 people who've been murdered. When we're there, we also give out the way to happiness. When we started this program, we went 50 days in the city of Compton with not one homicide. That's never occurred in the history of the city of Compton. Every week, we were there. So I think the way to happiness really makes a difference. The value of the ways of happiness is that it is something that is written down that you can identify with. It's easy to read, easy to understand, and it's good for people. People need some direction to go by. It kind of snapped me back to reality, and it helped me to recall some of the things that gives life a better quality of living. I've been all over the world. I've read all types of different religions, from Taoism to Islam, Hinduism, and Catholicism. I find that this is the one thing that I can use and give to someone else that's clearly understood. I used to wear a big badge, but now I wear a little way to happiness pin. And I have a lot of accommodations, but right now, the way to happiness pin is up there with my 30-year pin when I retired from the federal system. I used to carry a nine millimeter. Now I carry the way to happiness book. <laughs>